Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Cold 45 show. My 45 today. How are you guys doing? If you guys are new, welcome. If you want to subscribe to my channel, go do so. Cause I like to have you, and you become a 45 as well. But today, I have your WWE um, backlash, 2016 backlash predictions. They're finally bringing back old pay-per-views from back in the day, like backlash. And they have a new one called Clash of Champions. They have a, and they're bringing back No Mercy. So they're bringing back old pay-per-views. And we have... This is going to be a bummer of a pay-per-view. It's going to still be enjoyable because WWE never lets you down on pay-per-view. never lets us down on pay-per-views. And the poster of it is Dean Ambrose with blue eyes. This is Backlash. I'm kind of disappointed in this one because... Usually pay-per-views are, what, two hours, almost three? This is probably going to be like an hour and a half. There's only six matches on the card. So they must... I'm not going to add another match. Because they have a pre-show match. But I'm not going to add a pre-show match. Like, I don't know what's what's going on here, WWE. But we have six matches on the card. And it's going to be... I guess I got to stand the length... With the stand the length of time. They're going to make the matches longer, I guess. To make the pay-per-view longer and enjoyable. I don't... I really don't know. But... Yeah, WWE signed, a, signed, signed seven new recruits from China, so they better be good. Let's see on uh But yeah, let's, let's hope they, let's they add another match late, because remember John Cena, he's on SmackDown, but remember after SummerSlam, they let the armband on the ring? So, I don't know, we'll see this Sunday how Backlash is going to turn out, because... They had to, they had to make it longer to to make it enjoyable. Cause I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be long. I think it might be like a two hour, two hour pay per view. I don't know. Yeah, so I had Dean Amber, but the poster had Dean Amber on it, but the, the WD Network one had Dean Amber and it's with a slash on it, like backlash. That was like a slash with um, it just tells me they both have blue eyes. So. There's six matches, according to WWE. We're going to get right into these matches. So the first match on the card, if you guys have watched this match on lately. We're going to just gonna go, just I'll go random. We got The Miz, the Intercontinental Champion versus Dean, versus Dolph Ziggler. This is Dean Ambrose. Dolph Ziggler. And this match, I think it's going to be a freaking, it's going to be a good match because I think, um, obviously The Miz is in love with Maurice and all that stuff, but I don't think she, I hope she doesn't get involved in the match. But Miz is so far up Miz man's ass, he's fucking he's his you can smell his mouth. Like like the Miz is so Miz man's ass like you can smell it. It's that bad. Like he literally sucks Mr. Man's dick, I think. But he's gonna win. I, I think I really think Dolph is gonna win, but I think He's so far up big man's ass. I think um, the Miz is going to retain. But I'm going with Dolph Ziggler on this one. I'm not a big Miz fan. But I'm going with Dolph Ziggler to be your new WWE Intercontinental Champion on SmackDown. And this is only SmackDown pay-per-view only. Um, Clash of Champions is a Raw pay-per-view. And No Mercy I think is a SmackDown pay-per-view. That would be in Sacramento. I wish I could go to that one. But it probably won't happen. Then we have Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt, just a singles match, no stipulation in that match, just a regular match. I'm going with Randy Orton. RKO to nowhere, if he can pull it off, or Bray Wyatt's going to play on the sixth alley, or something crazy going to happen, who knows. But Randy Orton is going to RKO him, clean in the ring, one, two, three, I think it's going to be a good match, but I'm hearing, I think Luke Harper is training. At the at the at the train facility in Orlando, so we'll see what happens there. But Randy Orton maybe he might come in and break up the match. Something's gonna happen probably. I really don't know. But I'm going with Randy Orton RKO out of nowhere. And then we have a tag team tournament match. Um, if you guys didn't see last week on SmackDown, uh, the American Alpha got injured, so they're out of the tournament. So it's the Usos versus the Hypros, and the winner of the Usos versus the Hypros face. Keith Slater and Rhino. So in that match, I'm gonna. I love the hype. I love their hypeness, but the it's a tough one. It's a tough one. The Usos 
been always been. They could be the great. They'll be the great tag team on SmackDown. But the Hypers are awesome too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Usos. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I'm going with the Usos to pick up the win here. For to, to be your to, to to go to the next round in the Usos versus Heath Slater and Rhino. The Usos. I mean, I like to see Heath Slater get his contract. Yeah, because they need more. They need more. Superstars on SmackDown because Raw has basically every single superstar because they got even the Cruiserweight Classic superstars. It's kind of not fair. That's that's why the cards so small because they have less superstars than Raw. Raw makes their card bigger because they have more superstars. Oh, I don't know. But yeah. So the Usos are gonna win. Then they're gonna face Rhino, and the Usos are gonna be your new WWE SmackDown Tag Champs. Right. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like the new belt? The blue with the silver on it? I like it. Then we have... Then we have Natalia. Nick versus... Okay, we have Alexa Bliss versus, versus Becky Lynch. Versus Carmella versus Naomi. Versus Natalia versus Nikki Bella. The Elimination Six Pack Challenge for the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. That new belt. That's blue. It looks freaking awesome. Way better than Raw's belt. It's gonna be a freaking, it's gonna be a hell of a match. These girls put on a fucking show. These, the women, this women's division match is gonna be freaking insane. Now I'm gonna go with Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch never hold, she probably hold, maybe hold the NXT title, maybe. But I'm going with Becky Lynch to become your WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. Everybody knows it's gonna be Nikki Bella. She's back. She's gonna hold the title again. And she's gonna reign over. But maybe Natalia. Alexa, if it's Alexa Bliss and Carmella, they're kind of new to the thing. I hope not. I want it to be like Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Bella, or like I want to see the final three. To be, I want to, I want to see Alexa Bliss and Carmella eliminated first. I want to see Naomi, Natalia, Nikki Bella, and Becky Lynch go at it. Then I want to see Naomi eliminated. So I want to see uh, Becky Lynch, Natalia, and Nikki Bella go at it. Then we'll go from there. So I want Becky Lynch to be a new WWE. Women's champion. And then we have um, the final match, the, I guess the main event. Six matches in the cards. This is a bummer. It's like an hour and a half, maybe two hour show. Dean Ambrose. Dean in jeans. Dean Ambrose is in jeans versus AJ Styles. He is your WWE World Champion. Hmm. You asked me who am I going for? I do have an AJ Styles shirt in my closet that I'm wearing. The Ultimate Warrior. Um, I, mean, I like him as a superstar, but I like him as a character and a champ. No, I'm going with Dean and Jeans. Dean Ambrose is going to retain the championship. I like to see him have it. Unless AJ Styles unless AJ Styles has it, then maybe they'll feud again with John Cena or something will happen. Or maybe Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles, or maybe he said he laid down his armband at SmackDown in the middle of the ring. That he's done. But he's not done. He's in the interfere in this match. John Cena's going to come out, out of nowhere, interfere in the match, and Dean Ambrose is going to retain. I know it's going to happen. If you guys don't believe me, then tell me in the comment section down below. But I think John Cena's going to return. It's going to be crazy to happen, and he's just going to hit. He's going to hit him with it. He's going he's gonna to hit him with the air, so to distract him. The Dean Ambrose, dirty deeds. One, two, three. Clean in the motherfucking ring. Dean Ambrose. Dean and Jeans is going to retain. Dean and Jeans is going to retain. So let's go down the list again. I'm going for Dean and Jeans, Dean Ambrose, to retain the title. I'm going for Becky Lynch to be a new woman's WWE. Smackdown champion, or no one's champion yet, but she will be your first woman's WWE Smackdown champion. Then I'm going to have the Usos to be your first ever WWE Smackdown tag champions. Then I have Randy Orton over Bray Wyatt. RKO status, out of nowhere. Retro Randy. Then I got Dolph Stingler to become a new WWE Intercontinental cha champion. With um, Famous Series, all that. He's just gonna hit him with it. 
super kicks for days. Super kick city, bitch. For Dolph Ziggler, he's gonna win. But unless Maurice or somebody else gets involved, then the Miz can entertain. But I'm going with Dolph Ziggler. So anyways, those are my picks on the six matches. If there's a seventh or eighth match, or they add a match to the card, if John Cena just gets that, obviously has a match or something, then I will let you know. But for right now, how um, Wikipedia and WWE has it, there's like six matches on the card. And um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, it's going to be a decent pay per view, obviously. I'm going to watch. Why wouldn't I watch? But I'm going to watch. It should be a decent pay per view, but six matches on the card, come on. Because they, cause you know why? Because they have less superstars on SmackDown. Than they do Raw. Raw had like every single superstar you could think of. That's so we're gonna have more matches and more, more stuff to enjoy. So, yeah. It's gonna be in Richmond, Virginia, at the Richmond Coliseum. So know that, yeah. That's where the backlash review is gonna be. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video on my WWE predictions. Let me know in the comment section down below. Who are you going to pick for this pay-per-view? Who do you want to win? What do you think about it? All the six matches on the card. Do you think it's a bummer? Do you think it, they could have done better? Let me know. I like to hear your comments. And I am the ultimate warrior. And you can't teach that. Carmella is the hottest diva in SmackDown. And you can't teach that. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. For, like, like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. For more, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd like to have you. You can become a 45er, just like all the other subscribers on my channel. And I'll see you, champs and 45ers and everybody out there, in the 